In the near time future, the uh, shipping industry will be using fuels such as heavy fuel oil and marine gas oil. However, these will be sort of helped along by other fuels such as LNG and methanol. Now, it's predicted that by 2030, LNG will make up around about 8% of total global uh, bunker demand. Methanol will only make up a fraction from what we're seeing at the moment. However, the majority of the fleet will still be operating on HFO and MGO. The reason why um, LNG will start becoming more of a used fuel is because of the uh, regulations that will be coming in under the Marpole Annex 6. Now, when the IMO regulations do come in in 2020 or 2025, depending on when the decisions made in 2018, the reviews made, um, the ship owners will be effectively pushed to buy the more expensive low sulphur content fuel. However, they've got the option also to fit scrubbers, which will take those emissions down to the required emission levels. The cost of installation of a scrubber, based on the retrofittings we've seen so far in the market, is around about five to six million US dollars. Now, added to that cost is also the loss of earnings whilst that ship's in a shipyard having the installation fitted. Um, once it's then trading, however, the ship could become more attractive to owners because that ship, fitted with a scrubber or sox abatement unit, as they're also known in the industry, will be able to burn the fuel which isn't actually at a compliant level. However, its exhaust emissions will be uh, compliant under the regulations under Marpole Annex 6. So in fact, this could be, well some analysts are actually saying, it could be a difference of about 70% in fuel prices these vessels could burn. So to a charterer, someone who's taken that ship on a long-term charter, that's a significant saving for a vessel which is going into these sort of emission control zones and operating very flexibly.